talking. Fran says good afternoon. We're live. All right, we're live. Hey guys, it's Wild Wednesday live with our special edition on Friday from Quilt Show Reno. Uh, sorry we're a little bit late, but we got kind of, I had, I had an added class at 145, right. so I had to scramble, finish class, grab the equipment, and go running, so. And it's been kind of crazy. Like, and it's been crazy. Like, just spin around and show them. Like, the aisles are still packed. Yeah, you know, normally. Like in the afternoon, where usually yes, at this time, it's pretty it's, dead. Yeah, usually. So we are very thankful for we're that. We're grateful for the sales, but it Today made us kind of rush yes. to get Wild Wednesday up and going, Today so. it's been a really crazy day, honestly. Now, I want to start, too, by saying, I know yesterday we had some sound issues. It wasn't internet issue we think that we're on a different network today we're hoping it will be better but yeah. if it's not there's not a darn thing we can do about it guys right. Sounds good to me. Okay. yeah good, good. good so good. now we're gonna start right here with Jackie at Colorado Creations Quilting now the reason we're coming to spend some time with Jackie is because we had the other sound issue at Castle Rock and nobody could hear anything that she said so we're doing a do-over okay. so introduce easy. yourself where you're from what to do you know all that all good right. stuff I'm Jackie Wojcic from Erie, Colorado, which is just north of Denver area. Um, Ming I design patterns and make kits and then teach classes. So if you have a guild that wants, you like what you see, tell them to get in contact with me. And is your, your website is scrolling across the bottom? Okay, good job, Ron. Yep, yep, job, yep. Well, you know, you, some of you that have been watching us from the beginning probably remember Jackie was on the show because she does the coolest things. And, you know, we just, we wanted to come and show you again. So why don't you kind of walk us through the booth okay. and point out some of your. Uh, so, uh, again, I'm pretty much nature themed and I design, uh, I love to do my own artsy type quilts. I know that's not for everybody, but. It should be. It should be. <laughs> um, you know, if you want to delve into the other side of quilting, it's not a really bad world. I enjoy it. Um, yeah, right. And it, looks, I, it looks harder than it actually is. That's very People true. Are very intimidated very by true. it, but it really is almost, I think, more more simple than piecing. Because piecing, you have to be so accurate. This, you just put a butterfly over it and call it art. Well, you know, that's the other reason why I went to it. I do piece quilts and I design piece quilts, but I'm like you. If the corners don't match. Who cares? No. No, you do I care, have to rip it out rip five it out. times. But if it's an art quilt. You oh, no, I'm, that's what I meant. Yeah. 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 I, I, I was behind in the conversation. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All you need to do she on was, art quilts is yeah. put a border on. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, I love those fall, the fall leaves and the trees. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever noticed so, that in your booth before. These are mainly fused raw edge applique. I know the other words squish together, but. But it means really easy, girls, really easy. It does. It means trace a pattern, puts, put it on the back of your fabric, and cut it out. Adele, that one's perfect for us, the cactus, and then that's the way our sky looks every night at home. That was my home in Tucson once upon Well, no time. wonder, because, yeah, we're Arizona girls, so. Yeah. So this would be your own pattern that you've mm -hmm. designed, and it's a great way for them to use their panels. Panels. You can switch out the panel if you don't like C. Maybe you like... Uh, Western or anything, yeah, really anything, and then put your own coordinating fabrics with it in the, in the squares, and it's a really, yeah, versatile pattern. What's yeah, that pattern called? It. So, if they want to this order it, it's called the reef, the reef, R E E F, yes, and but the you other, could make it the desert, or yeah, something. you could. Sure. <laughs> this other one with the peacock, yeah, on that's the other one of my corner. favorites. Yeah. Same thing, you could switch out the panel and put your own colors, and there you go, you've got a pattern. But you know, I just think that is stunning. It's so vibrant. It's one of my, every time I come by your booth, I just stare at it. I you love know, it. I really like black things on black because they pops. really pop. I yeah. do too. Yeah. So that one's called Feathers of Grandeur. Feathers of Grandeur. Yeah. Um, oh my goodness, look at the turkey. You know, wedge ones <laughs> are really popular right that now, is so that's cute. why I made the turkey. But he's so cute. He's got so much personality. Now, I am teaching a class this after, or this evening, I should uh -huh. say, from 5.30 to 9.30 here at the Reno oh, awesome. um, Convention Center uh, on mosaic patterns. So these are my newest to come out. They're little. They're doable during the oh, class. Is Mary Beattie on? Oh, Mary, when uh -oh. you watch this later, see how they just torment you and I? 
We're against gnomes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're the only two people in the world. We're the only two people that are against them. The rest of, them, of us love them. I hate to say it, but the only reason I made the gnome was because it was trendy and I knew yeah. I needed the, the, to get all of us people in you're the class. Yeah, you're yeah. you're a smart, smart businesswoman, so, but they creep me out. Oh. So if you <laughs> are not here in the Reno area to take the class, I've got patterns or kits and yeah, pretty doable. And yeah. yeah. So otherwise, I do... Um, Sue says such a cute name. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank Sue, you. what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the one of the reasons guys that you know you want to make sure you go to Jackie's website is because her stuff is really unique to to other vendors you see all the time and you know it's like that's one of the fun things about these shows you get to see so many different things but her stuff is really really different I love that sunflower too yeah yeah I, go, I was getting that a minute yeah ago. I, I love it the, uh... and that the sunflower honestly is a super cute easy pattern so if you're just thinking about um, getting into applique and fusible and artsy stuff, that would be a great one to start with. Oh, okay. And look at how she finished the edge. It's super adorable. Oh, that is so, so cute. So she didn't actually put a binding on it. She just sewed this kind of flange onto it with a decorative stitch. That is so super cute. Super cute idea. So no quilting fleece, especially when you're in the art world. Yeah. Right. We don't like quilting fleece. Either. And we'd rather if you don't choke to death while we're over here filming you too. Are you okay? <laughs> Oh, I'm dying oh, today. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry about oh my gosh, no, now they're all commenting how done they are up gnomes. Uh -oh. uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well even I have to admit this is a cute yeah. gnome. And, and I'm just going to say it's only four of them. Oh. Yeah. Four out of our hundreds four of lovers. See, okay. it's just four people trying to support me and Mary Beattie. Right, right, right. So I always listen to the emails or the comments that come in, mm -hmm. and I try to do things that you're looking for so right. yeah great shoot me a so call shoot her an email. email or or give her a call on her personal yeah telling her what you want yeah but guys fine. please please go to her website it is scrolling on the bottom of the screen so okay. all right well i'm glad we got a chance to do over like oh the flag i love the flag we have a stalker out here in the outside of the booth. I know. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thank you very much. We looked at him yesterday. Yeah, you missed yeah. it. I think I showed you the real thing when I was in class. Wow, well, that's true. Well, we'll, we'll yeah. make our way over there. Okay. Would you want me to meet you over there in a few yeah. minutes? Yeah, because okay. we got to stay on schedule here. Okay. I'm the taskmaster. Yes. No, actually, we're going to make an, an unexpected stop right oh, here wait, since we're right here. You have to look at this one. Look at oh, how cute! With the fall leaves and the pumpkin, that is adorable. So that one stop. fits all of the needs for those of you who want to do a little bit of piecing and a little bit of applique, or those of you who are afraid of applique but you want to try. Still love it. Oh, even the look at the blue poinsettia. I know the blue poinsettia. I love is beautiful. blue poinsettias. Yeah, and that's that's a great table runner for those of you who have focal fabrics that you really don't want to cut up into small pieces. You yes. can really display it nicely. Yeah. We're going to make a, an unplanned stop right across the aisle here okay. and uh, stop at free motion mastery in a month. Whoa. So kind of let's let her introduce I herself. I feel. Hi, I'm Melissa and we're Renee created free motion mastery in a month, which is 30 lessons and it does a step-by-step -step program, breaks it down into fundamental um, easier steps so that learning free motion quilting doesn't become overwhelming at your yeah. machine all at once. So, this so is for domestic machines. Any machine you want to learn uh, is what is what we'll teach you on. So okay. because it's not all done at the machine. So we have you do machine control just by outlining a large scale print uh, to begin with so that you learn what how, what speed you like to run your machine at, getting used to the t fixing the tension and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then we actually have you go away from the machine and learn the six basic shapes of free motion quilting um, using our training tool, which can be a ruler later on in, in in life but for now it's a training tool and using the tracing sheets you just put the red dot on the line and you hold it like you would hold your fabric at mm -hmm. your machine or your long arm of your mm -hmm. pants and you just start to trace so your muscle memory starts getting working so you oh, can that's start neat. to learn how to work together together and then we have you move over to 
uh, the sketch pad because you have to learn, uh, get your brain involved as yeah. well. Like right. oh, you say, it's a muscle memory exactly. thing. Exactly, sure. muscle memory, mental yeah. and everything. And we have you sketching. So your muscles learned how to do the flower. Now your brain tells it how to make the flower and you can now sketch it out. And then we have you come back to the machine and since you have your muscles, your bent, your brain, and now your mus machine control, you can now quilt it all together. So That's fun. Books, 30 lessons, gives you step-by-step -step instructions. You can do it in a month. You can do it in two years. We don't send your the quilt police, yeah. so whatever your pace is. Yeah, oh, we hate the quilt police. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and do you have a website? We do. Freemotionmasteryinamonth.com. So freemotionmasteryinamonth.com. Write that down. If you yep. didn't get it, watch this over later. Yeah, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel right? and watch it over and over again until yep. you master the website name. But look at All those right. beautiful butterflies. <laughs> yes. It's Aren't those absolutely adorable? gorgeous. It is. Well, and I'm going to just say okay. from experience. Have a little question. Is it a video? It can be a recorded video class, yes. And she also does online classes as well. So okay, okay. we have it all on so the So you got everything covered right. for everybody. Yeah, any way you want to learn how to do free motion quilting, Renee will teach you. So awesome. Sorry about that. No, that's a good question. Yeah. It, it really is about practice. Nobody yeah, you know that. anything perfectly the first time. Well, right. you guys saw me yesterday yeah. on the ANOVA. That was yeah. pretty scary. <laughs> no, it's practice. Practice, it practice, practice. You it don't is. do anything. You can't even cook if you don't practice. Right. Well, it gives you the I don't know. Practice, I so. can because I'm that good. Okay, whatever. We <laughs> seen you on Anova yesterday. I think well, my cooking and Anovas are two different things. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so thank much you for so sharing. Much. And thank hopefully you. some of thank these you. folks will visit your website. Yes. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to shoot right down here and see Alicia. Hi. 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 How are you? Good, good. Thank good. You. All right, so as we're walking, Becky, walking. you don't have to live closer because you can always visit us on our um, Zooms and our lives and everything. And uh, I don't know, I may talk really into doing a retreat or something. We no, could do I don't know. Chaka tour. You know, just know for right now, we retreat. are at the, oh, you notice how I'm talking over them because yeah, I don't yeah. even want to hear it. That be fun? Be a Adele, oh. get together and yeah, we'll, we'll just, you know yeah. what I hear? I hear a lot of work for Raylene. <laughs> Every time they have these ideas, <laughs> it costs me my life. <laughs> so we're going to stop here. You guys, I I'm so excited to be able to bring this booth to you guys. I, Alicia and I have been friends. I don't even know how long. We have been vendor friends forever and ever and ever and ever. So I was so excited to see she was going to be here because we wanted to feature her because she is the queen of that, the batty lady. Years. 14 years. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow. The first show, I know. real show that I went to. Yeah. Raylene was right next to me. Yep. And we've been friends and she's terrific. But I'll tell you, her business is the batty lady. And she really is. She has any kind of batting you want. So, so then, and if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer questions because people don't know what to use, especially like if you make those microwave cozies. They, you want to make sure you use cotton, 100% cotton. So, you know, well, without, just without the scrim. Correct. Yes. No scrim. Girls, we go over that all the time. No scrim in the microwave. It causes a fire. And you want to make sure you use cotton thread too. So. And you know, a lot of time, a lot of people have been asking me, okay, Raylene, you don't carry thermo anymore because you don't do less than traditional. Where do we go? You go to the baddie lady because half the time when my orders didn't come in, I was getting it from Alicia anyway. <laughs> so, so her website is, is it scrolling? Her yes, website is, is scrolling. It so is. you, it. you know, if you ever have questions, if you don't know what batting to use, just reach out to her because she's going to help you. So tourists through your booth. Okay. So I have batting from four major U.S. manufacturers, Hobbs and Hobbs Tuscany are the, the same manufacturer. The difference is this is a flat fold batting versus the heirloom line, the traditional line is a rolled or cone line. I carry Quilter's Dream. And I also carry, this is my newest edition. <laughs> oh, she's gonna catch up. Is Bozal. And Bozal is a Massachusetts manu manufacturer. You may know them from their um, their um, I can't think of the name, stabilizer. And then I also carried the warm company. So, you know, I can address any of your questions that you might have or needs, because I cover every kind, poly, cotton, cotton poly blends, cotton wool blends. Uh, and you know, sometimes it's just hard, especially for our beginners, 
to know what to use. Right. And that's where you're going to use Alicia. She's the, ex the expert on that stuff. Yeah. So, I, you know, questions, whatever I need to answer. But I carry complete lines from all these manufacturers. I can get you rolls if you want to get a roll. I can drop ship them directly to you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, I, Coulter's Dream and Warm, I work closely with them. So, I can get that done. Hobbs, I'm a distributor, so I carry it in my warehouse all the time. Um, Bozal, I haven't expanded into the roll lines. Um, it's kind of an experiment right now. It's great batting, but I'm about the only one on the West Coast that's selling it as a batting. And then I also have an assortment of notions that Raylene and I complement each other. Oh, yeah, she has lots of stuff I don't have. Yeah, and so then also we're not always at the same show, so I right. try to make sure that we have the tools that you need to do your, your craft. We send people back and forth, and today I said, oh, check with Alicia. She goes, she sent me to you. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we, we all do that a lot. We try to, especially, you know, all the regulars that you guys see on the show all the time, we all try to work together because, you know, we just really believe when we work together, we're all successful. So, exactly. you know. And right now with the supply chain being kind of crazy, Oh, my gosh, you just yes. never know who's going to have what in. Like I told you, half the time I would be getting ready to do a class and go, oops, and I'd call Alicia. Can you, like, uh, quickly ship me some Thermor for my class? And she always did. So awesome. So great. And she's based, if you just wonder about shipping, she's based out of Southern California. So I know a lot of our viewers in California. So that makes the shipping a little less when you're a little closer. So and $75 or more, it's free. Even better. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. And Cheryl, this is questions? not a video. This is live. You caught us live, lucky girl. <laughs> But when you come in the show, she you're going to go to the left, and she's on the same aisle as Jackie and the free motion that we just did. So you're just going to keep on walking down the aisle, which coincidentally is the same aisle I'm on at the end. So you, you, you can find her easily. Thanks, Alicia. Thank you. All right. We are now headed to, oh, we got to go back up to the front. We do? This was kind of a weird, we're going to go talk to Kathy Reddy. Okay. So we're going to go around the corner. Oh, she's right by she's, Fabric Chicks, coincidentally. <laughs> would that be Fabric Chicks Creative Oasis from Gardnerville, Nevada? Yes. Yes, it would. I've Look seen her all on my TV. groupies are there. Yeah, they're, they are. They're manning the booth, but they're really just gabbing. Yeah. It's funny. I'm seeing a lot of people that have been uh -oh. hanging out in my booth, too. Sure. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so right up here. So we, Kathy Reddy is yes. really known for her clothing and garments. Yes. And she's been in the industry for as long as yes. I've been around. We were just talking, she and I, that we both started the same year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many, what year was that really? 83. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're coming up on 40 years. 40 years. I Holy was two goodness. years old when we started. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Well, welcome. We're here to interview you. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want to put some lipstick on, get professional looking? <laughs> oh, and she's kidding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Is this gonna be just a little bit? Yeah, just for a second. No, you're live right now. Well, you're you're live on Wild Wednesday Live. Okay, for Oh, okay, we'll be quick. We'll be quick. So she's gonna fit a customer so that uh, the customer can make the clothing and it was gonna fit her perfectly. You girls all need to start get back into making your own garments. Yes. Okay. And the reason I started making patterns is I had a sewing school in the nineteen seventies. And after I taught them for five weeks how to sew pants and fit them, their eyes started crossing. And I said, another option, pay me, I'll make your pattern. And so that's how it started. Oh, I would just pay you to make my clothes. So tell, <laughs> why don't you just give them a little background what, what all you do do, Kathy? Because I know a lot of people- My specialty is dressmaking, serging, and fitting. And I'm a real out of the box thinker. <laughs> and you need to have that personality to figure out how to fit. I've just been talking with this gal and she says all of her clothes go backwards. And she doesn't have any body parts that would indicate that. But we're going to add an extra 5 eighths inch to the back of her pattern. So that will make the front not have to go back because you'll have it there. So, so guys, I if you're coming to this show, in all honesty, and you want to make clothes and they don't fit right, you've got to stop and see Kathy because she is going to be able to help you out right. and she well, you know she's going to for a very small fee she is going to <laughs> you're going to have the perfect pattern when she's done and quilters which is the majority of the people here right. do a lot of detail yeah 
So the sewing part's going to be easier than quilting. The fitting part's always been hard. And that's why I do what I do. And you've got a lot of things they need for making their right. patterns too. So they I'm can pick a, that I'm up. a teacher that also is a business person. And that's yes. why I've been doing trade shows since 1983 and still can pay my bills. <laughs> exactly. That's quite an accomplishment. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. We'll see you soon. <laughs> and we're going to, since we're right here, we're going to stop by. Oh, well, Stephanie's not even here. Did she? She's next door. Oh. Let me get her. I'm going to get her. Oh, dear. <laughs> So we were going to go live we with Stephanie. We were going to go live with Stephanie. And, uh, she's not in her booth. Did we get that on film? And here we are on camera live, and we can't find the barefooted no gal. What do you know? <laughs> well, I had an email from Sky who said, hey, can you guys uh, go see Stephanie on Wild Wednesday? I'm like, sure. Yeah, why not? She did not. She did not say that. She said something similar. Okay. It, you want to see my email? We're just going to change your booth around. And... Yeah, yeah. It's fine. What do you want to I was in her business earlier today, you know? I know. I was in her business. Okay. I, it's like family, okay? I guess I did. It's all right. It's fine. Okay. So we are having special. Okay, what's your special? So only till midnight tonight, Eastern Time, you can get our five piece beginner set. Bucks. Oh so my bucks. gosh, that okay. is like the best deal you've ever done. That's better than the deals you've done on the show before. We're not scrolling across the bottom of the screen because we didn't know we were coming to interview you. So can you give them your website real quick or I your can. personal cell phone so they know who to call and order? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can go to my website, not my personal cell phone. <laughs> well, we try on that phone, but nobody bites know, on that. I, huh? I can tell you, they can call you anytime, 24 7. I never give out my phone number. Really? I, I don't blame you. I don't either. Listen, I give out my kids. I give out number. my phone number yeah. all the time. I just never answer it. Well, that and it was just why you never sleep. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a real story now. You hear that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me show you my favorite Path Easy tool. Okay. It's the swirl. Path Easy. That's a kind of fun name. Well, yeah, because you follow the path and it's easy. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Right? Two for. I'm clever. Yes. I didn't really think that up. I think Scott did. Okay. She's my everything. Okay. All right. So the foot's going to go down inside that little groove. And once it's down inside of there, I can't get it out. So it's like bump cars. So all we're going to do is stitch, moving fabric and template together. And that's it. It is that simple. You guys, I bought these from Steph when the, the first time she was on Wild Wednesday, and I just, which was what a year and a half ago, I just got them out the other day in, to play with you're... them. Did you play with them? I did, yeah, and I, I realized that it had been so long since I'd seen the demo. I needed to go watch so her do it did. again. Yeah. I just found mine. They were in a cute little purple bag from maybe seven years ago. Oh yeah, mine were oh, still in the little bag. These and... girls are fire. I'm just a purchaser. I'm not a kind. Cons- you know, I, I buy it. Oh, well, that's, I feel like I'm a collector. Yeah, my Euro steam still in the box. Somebody said that oh, they were, my that gosh, I should I donate it. I love that iron. Well, if you do donate it to me, because I could do another one. I know, I know. It's ridiculous. Hey, it's d- because I'm so busy working, I have no time to play. Well, uh-huh. that is true. Yeah, I love the thread, too. The, the yeah, variegated. Is that nice? Yeah, it's really pretty. You want to know why I use the variegated? Because it's so pretty. Well, that and so many things that are when you mess up. Oh, yeah. oh gotcha, gotcha. If so you, if your stitches aren't exactly perfect, right. the variegated thread, nobody notices. So you just stopped and turned it around. That's so cute. Isn't that lovely? I'm excited about it. Like I said, yeah. I, I got it on practice and I went, okay, it's been too long. I need to, it's good. I need, you have a video, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. All, all over Well, that's what I told She's Ron. all well, over you. Because Ron put a gigantic TV up in where we have the sewing room yeah. and music room so that I could watch them. Oh, my goodness. I just yeah. have to turn it on. I'm a really big girl already. You probably didn't need a big TV. I know. When they said they put me on the big screen, I'm like, oh, my God, I feel for you. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so <laughs> you guys now, are funny. I'm just going to ask because I know that the watchers want to know the magic behind it. You have a special foot on, don't you? I do, I do. So, so you girls can't just use the regular foot at home. 
no, don't use your free motion foot. You will break things. So this is a mini ruler foot. So it's very tiny in comparison to, hold on, I've got the other foot. This is a regular full size ruler foot, which many of you I'm sure already have. Right. But, but they're yeah. big like this. So yeah. ours is very, very tiny. Which is why it fits in those beautiful templates so that's easily. Correct. And that's what makes us special. So and you yeah. have different ones for their different shanks. That's right. So we make different shank heights. So all we need to know, and when you check out on our website, it will ask you specifically what kind of machine you have. Okay. That way we send you the right thing. Okay, perfect. And if Bryce screws up because he's doing that shipping, yeah. we will ship you the correct one. We'll swap you out. Right. If Bryce makes a mistake. No, and you know what? They, they, all of our viewers are very familiar with that because we're all working with our kids and we're um, doing the best we can. At yeah. This point. We're all just doing the best we can. So we all make good on whatever it is. Don't worry. You won't we be do our best. We do yeah, all do our very yes, best. Yes. Sure. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess we, Linda's probably over there waiting on us okay. by her clothes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Linda McGee, because she wasn't there when we did her clothes, she wants us to come back over and do the clothes again. So, um, okay, Cheryl, that makes more sense because I'm like, um, you know, so she was asking if the video was live, not if we were live. She knew we were live, but she wasn't oh. sure if this was live. But oh think, my gosh. I didn't know. I was trying to put two and two together. So when you, when they do the videos, are they live? Both. We have one that, uh, we have a recorded option. Yes. That walks through the lessons of the book and it's either a streaming option or a DVD option. Okay. And then we have live online classes through Zoom as well. Okay. Yeah, so okay. they've got Perfect. you guys covered 100%, yeah. so. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Then, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then you need to come in for a one-on-one -on -one lesson. Yeah. Zoom, yes. Yes. Right. Any which way you want it, you can have it. So, oh, good. It's just straight across Nothing. here. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. So after we walk all the way over here, she better be there. She probably got bored waiting and left. Okay. So, like, literally, I am very impressed at how busy. Yes. Katie Benhauer, who let you in here? Ah, you're on live. You're we're no, live right. My Wednesday live, live on Friday. Oh, so, so this is Relina. Well, we've she's, she's already been. In, we've already been shopping been over in there. Been yeah, where have you been? You in I, I, well, yeah, maybe I she was. didn't want to, and now yeah, you're making her feel bad. I was. Yeah. 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 You know. Okay, we'll see you for dinner. She oh, went yeah. to the important. I know, I was worried about who she was going to bring. Uh, you, never know. Know. you never know with Katie. Okay. Well, she, she's waiting for us. What's up? We came all the way over here for you and you weren't here. Well, okay, something shiny. Okay. So she's going to kind of, we kind of did a quick breeze through here yesterday, but Linda was in class, so she's going to take you through it. She's so going to give you the deets. To explain to him how they, these are mostly Fairfield garments and all that, but you do a better job. Okay. So this garment was made sometime in the 90s for the Fairfield show. It was the first garment that I was invited to teach, I mean, to, to make. And so I thought I would do it, uh, patronize the, my state of Louisiana. And so the, the, the garment is actually called the Bag Lady Goes to Mardi Gras. <laughs> That's and a cute name. So we have a very simple dress. So the model came out in the coat and showed off the dress, but not knowing which bag to wear with the outfit. Here, I need another hand. Oh my she gosh. has. Oh, how cute. She oh has... gosh, we need to pin this open. Yeah, you like missed you, the you whole missed story. You missed it. Yes, yes. Unless you read. No, oh, nobody read. Read. Oh, oh, one time. Nobody read. reads anymore. <laughs> that, I, I, I understand. This has lights that flash, and this has lights that flash, but I think the battery's gone, so oh. it's not flashing now. That is so the, cute. The bag lady goes to Mardi Gras. Lattice piecing was one of the classes that I taught here. Now, these are kind of basic garments for me. This one was from the Bernina show uh, at Houston the year of 9-11. 
So I was invited to make the garment that year. And having traveled by car around the states and seeing all the flags, it, I just wanted to pay homage to the United States. And so uh, she needs the, the mic on her. Spray of flowers <laughs> in the back, and a lot of the the uh, thread in this area is glow in the dark. Um, and then, uh, as in a lot of the stitch work that's on the sleeves is glow in the dark. Oh my god. And when you open it's it, shimmery when it's not in the dark. It's yeah. still gorgeous. But oh when, my God, do you fit in that? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not modeling today. I got to get back to class. Okay. You got it, Beth? Yeah, yeah, okay. I got it. Like, so so no so Beth, it's but this is. Yeah, yeah, those are some hot pants. My leg this would fit in there. The, um, uh, Y'all are bad. This, um, <laughs> the spiral about. patchwork but only using the spiraling going in one direction. So it kind of looks like the flag. Yeah, Slow that's really neat. The wind. That there are 50 stones up on this side on top of the crinkled velvet. And the sky is represented in the background. So when the model, it can open up to this far. So when it, opens, it just looks like a flag flying oh, in the breeze. It's beautiful. Uh, garments that were done for Capital Imports. So this one and the beige one over there are more in the heirloom industry. There's over a hundred yards of lace to build Oh, wow. Um, I just love this. And the this. dress goes along with it. This, too, is lattice piecing, which is one of the classes that I taught here. We it is saw gorgeous. And not, uh, some of the beading with it. This one opened the Fairfield show in 96, and there's... 85 spools of thread were used in wow. construction. The pin tucking with a uh, Girls, just, double needle. Just think 85, 85. spools of thread. Like, like big spools, like $10 spools. Because well, in the 90s, just, it didn't cost it. They weren't, they weren't making spools that big then. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to say as a blonde, 85 times 10 is a lot of money in, th in thread. A lot of money. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, even, yeah, even in, so, the, in other words, you want to sell me the thread. You want to yes. sell me Could the I thread for the next. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. I got you. Okay. <laughs> the, this yoke is woven, so that originally looked like that. Oh, I can see so it under there. Yeah. On top of it, that really. Yeah. It's so glittery the, and the, shimmery and. It's so pretty. I love all yeah. the color. It and, is fabulous. And the inset on the sleeve on the. Uh, Oh, wow. It's a silky sliver thread. So it's, it actually is from the sides of the, Do they the kinda, pants. Are they like MC Hammer out? pants? Like, that's what I was going to say. Are they MC Hammer pants? Do they pull them out? Um, well, it's more sedate as you're walking forward and you see it as oh. you're walking. So it's not both. They're not, yeah. they're not that. Oh, yeah. Okay. See, it's they're not, not that subtle. big. Yeah. 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 But it's so neat. Yeah. Um, and then was done for statements, which was a show that P and B did. They had eight colorways of this particular fabric, and each designer was given a different colorway. And I used a piece of every single one of the fabrics they gave me. I didn't really care for the gray, so it was used in the sleeves. Mm -hmm. But uh, the uh, selvage was used to piece the lining, so it has the designer's name incorporated. That's cool. Into, uh, the, uh, this too is lattice piece. And it has a big collar on the back. I don't think you can really. Well, no. let, this is a magnet. New brains, you know, the magnets that hold your quilt on the wall. I used it right here. I might need some help. There. So you. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. See, you those need to be on mannequins. Mannequin yeah, you need a mannequins. So they could see front and back. So, you know what? Well, you know what we could have done, except for it's too late now, is we could have put a pole across there and hung them. And no, pole. no like, drapes. How we did your display last year. Yeah, yeah. no draperies. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Interesting. And all the bags. Okay. So I love then, all the bags. Bags. This is the overkill on zippers, so it's zippers for the strap, zip, a real zipper pocket, zipper corded pipe and corded pipe, and a zipper to get into it. So that's overkill on zippers, but fabric that I designed for so for those uh, California. So for Hoffman. those that are watching, do you have patterns for any of these that you're showing us that they could purchase? And can you let them know your website? 
Okay. And your All personal the bags. We <laughs> <laughs> tried. Let's see. Yes, the memory's yes, gone yes, on, yes. On, on the phone number. It's in my phone. Uh, there are patterns for each of the bags that's over here. The vest pattern, which is this one. We had a challenge with the vest pattern last year at the show. But this one and the two vests at the far end are actually a pattern. Um, so the black one and, and the red one? The black one and the red one are the same pattern as is this one. And there's, I'm wearing the shorter version. Um, so that pattern is available. The garments, this is the Hungarian Sur pattern from Folkwear Patterns. Um, you expect me to remember from the 90s? Well, what's, tell me your website. <laughs> I, I, I only want to know your patterns that they could purchase today. Okay. They the can, other ones are really, really beautiful, but if we're you not going met there. our clientele, they, we like simple and quick. We yes. We fast and okay. easy. So you're going to take parts of some of these others and we're put them together. Be inspired so by we have them. the vest pattern, and you can have the vest pattern over at your by tomorrow morning. Okay. And uh, the bag patterns you can have over at your booth by tomorrow morning. Okay, so girls, you just have to type in the pattern, the bags that you're interested in. Yeah. Yes. Or go to Gies, www.gheees.com. Right. Which is the easiest way. Right. Yeah. Because then Beth doesn't have to remember to bring them to you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thank you, Linda. So, and you're teaching a class tonight, but it's sold out. Yes. And anything tomorrow? I'll be at the free demo area at 1015. Okay. So if you want to catch her um, free tomorrow, 1015 on the free stage, which is at the back of the building. So any locals that, that have an opportunity, you're not going to want to miss it. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for stopping by. Sure. Hey, well, we didn't just on. stop by. We made a special trip we for you. We ran over here. Because, you know, you are Linda. Okay. Because I mean, I'm out of vest patterns. So what do we, do we want to go do oh, the other? Yeah, we're, we didn't get the back the, wall yesterday. So we're going to head so on down here. we're going to clean slowly so you can see the displays. Honestly, they, the, I'm sure the videoing does not do it justice. <laughs> Some of these you saw yesterday, but we're just right. we're making our we're way making, to the yeah. section we didn't get to so yesterday. If you're not familiar with where we are, we are at the Reno Convention Center. Um, here's Betsy. Uh, she's a follower. Just wait, Betsy. Um, uh, we have followers. I don't know if they're followers or stalkers. Or stalkers. Some of them they're might be everywhere. stalkers. Maybe a little bit of both. But, but you know, these. we've got a lot of Wild Wednesday people here live yes. because we're so close to Sacramento. Yes. We've got all them. We've got yes. all the Reno people. So it's really su been super fun. We should probably just remind them, if you're still coming out to the show tomorrow, you can still do the scavenger hunt. You just have to turn your entry in by 2 o'clock yes. because we do close at 4 and I have to have time to go gather up the pictures for Oklahoma. Right. And I want to let everybody know that I am very proud of you. Almost everybody had the seven. They're getting better. They're in down. I, everybody that's come to our booth has said it perfectly. And do you know that this group of gals came, flew in all the way from Texas? Yes. All the way from Texas. Go Texas. Just for this show. So girls, you need to, you need to, and they're volunteering as white lovers. What you need to do is find some people that you like to spend time with. And what they do is they find one show a month and they don't care where it is, they go to it. So you need to find those people. Those That's people you can hang out with for three do. or four days. Yeah, and then and get to see shows you would never see otherwise. Yes. So these are all antique vintage quilts. They're um, in a Southern quilts display, um, circa 1950s, 1930s, um, just gorgeous. Hand quilted. I should have brought. I should have brought. I should have brought some of ours. Yeah. We have several that are right at the turn of the century, nineteen uh hundreds. -huh. These are beautiful. Yeah, they're amazing. Um, look at that. That one's silk, I think. It looks like silk. Yeah. yeah. Well, and this one, look. I mean, nineteen ten. And the thing is about these is, yeah, they're hand quilted. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have all the machines to right. do it, right. and the stitching is beautiful. Yeah. 
the whole, yeah. It does Ooh. make me a little bit dizzy. But really beautiful display. We just don't get to see the antique quilts like we used to. No, no. So I keep the trying, workmanship to, trying to figure out what to do with that huge collection that I have yes. now. Yeah. That was my mom's. Um, I don't know. A couple of them may end up going to Paducah to the museum. A lot of fun um, stuff, though, in the display. Yeah, we've got another... It's always good if we can find the start of it. Yeah, I'm not real sure where this one begins. Then we can let you know what it's about. Yeah, because this has a lot of, it's almost like this is memory stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's because it's there's a lot of dates on them. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's memory stuff. Yeah. I, keep looking I for actually a sign. think this one was sponsored by CNT, if I remember correctly. Um, huh? There is no sign. Yeah, but it really does appear that it's a, it's memory quilts to me, because there's a lot of dates. But really pretty stuff. Okay. Well, I don't see a sign, but we got some more good fun it's stuff. To come in a different way. Yeah. I looked earlier and didn't see it either, though. So and these are fun. This is right up your alley, Beth. I know. So this, I believe, is the Carson Valley Quilt Guild, which is right down in my neck of the woods. This was their challenge. Oh, wow. So Doris, who's Gracie's FFA teacher, was in charge, um, one of the people in charge. So she's a big wool person. So they had to incorporate wool into the project. So it's amazing. Like They, they really were creative. They, yeah. They used it in their animal. Oh, they in the used bears. It in the bear. Here you've got it as the caterpillar. Well, I love this one where it's the smoke in the chimney. Yeah. That's really yes. clever. Yes. They're all really, really cute. Oh, look at the squirrel and the bunny. How cute. That's adorable. Look, that is they so were cute. one of the third place winners. I know Phyllis has one here, Phyllis Holmes, who was supposed to be sleeping, but I saw she was watching us. Um, it is the Remembrance Project. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. There's the second place winner. That is so cute. Okay, now we have to find the blue ribbon. I, well, I was trying to find Phyllis's because Phyllis was, is such a good scrounger that she actually went to her neighbors and dug, they had a fire at, at her neighbors and she dug through the stuff to find something i don't see it right well there's some more on the other side okay so. i'm gonna keep looking to see if i can find it phyllis we're gonna post it although no so that's the other one the um that's the other category remembrance project oh. by the um social justice sewing academy gotcha here's the blue ribbon the eagle i love it and they use their wools on the stump of the tree did we find Phyllis? Yes, I found Phyllis's. So I'm just gonna say, she might not have learned all of her tricks from me, but this sounds like a fabric chicks uh, thing. She went through the trash and see, she found a metal grate for the campfire. That's so cute. So that cute. is from her neighbor's relics from their burned house. Oh and she used the wool for the flame coming. And you uh -huh. can even see behind it, she's got a little the flames. Fire. Yeah. yeah. And then she used some wool up here on the clouds and the a mountains. Quilt. I love the feet sticking out of the tent. Oh my gosh, look at that. Did you see that? <laughs> That's awesome. Good and job, Phyllis. Quilt, Phyllis. Good job, Phyllis. That's awesome. That's so fun. I love it. People are so creative. It's amazing. The eagle is awesome. And then this Ian, is... I wish you had stayed longer so you really could have seen the whole show. This is digital quilts. And they're really... I was looking at these like close up earlier today and they're just amazing. Yes. So, you know, I, this is one of those shows, guys, where you not only get all of us great vendors, but you get a lot of quilt displays. So yes. It's worth planning to try. If you can't come this year, come next right. year. Connie, the promoter in Opal, they do an amazing job, um, which, I mean, it takes a lot of effort to it's organize and, work. and facilitate all of these quilts getting into one building. 
So, girls, we really, really appreciate all the effort that you put into yes. making this show so amazing. Absolutely. We're very, very fortunate in our neck of the woods to have wow. a show of this size. Wow. And like I said, we have people that have come in from Texas. They've flown in from Arizona, like Alaska. They're all, all over, the, over place. the place. There's the Sakwa Studio Art Quilt Association's display. So again, just lots of stuff to see. So, you know, plan to come next year. It's we're and plan to be here all week. Right. So that you can see everything. You can take classes. Yes. So start saving your change. Yes. Get a jar, start throwing right. all your quarters in. Right. And you'll be amazed Maybe how fast. Maybe your dollar bills in. Because dollar you know, bills spend just like your quarters used to. Well, but see, what I'm saying is they save up for the trip that yes. way. Then they take all that to the coin star to buy their plane ticket. Right. <laughs> and Ruth. We don't want to forget Ruth, who does a whole lot of work, not only for this show, but also for Wild Wednesday in general all year long. And Cool Craft and Sew Festival. Yes. But yeah, Ruth does a lot of work for these guys, too. And she's was, you know, again, you, all got, you guys know Ruth's amazing. She's our Siri. Right. We need something done. We just go, hey, Siri, and it happens. We still got right, tomorrow right. from 10 to 4. Remember, if you're coming tomorrow, though, you do need to finish your scavenger hunt by 2 o'clock. Make sure you... the show ends at 4, so don't come in at no, 2 thinking nope. you've got till 5. Because you don't. It ends at 4. Um, what else? That's well, we need. I need to turn the camera. You know, Adele, for the last... For the show, has been our camera person. So we want to make sure we acknowledge... Our, our third arm here, Adele's always so willing to help. So be sure you stop and give her some love when you come and tell her that you get wild with her on Wednesday. Right. right. Sue, I'm going to put you down for next year. You're committed now. I know you're committed. Oh, everybody yes. knows now yes. accountability. Exactly. So I think that's about it because we probably need to get back to our busy booths. I so my booth unattended with all the girls in there and you know how that yes. goes. Yes. But remember guys, we will not have a live next week because we are transitioning. Yeah. Uh, Adele and I will be going to Oklahoma. A lot of other vendors that you guys love will be there. Right. Um, Beth will not be because she's busy doing some other stuff. Right. Right. So Adele and I will be going live from there. But, you know, as oh, they say, show to trash to treasure. Oh, yes, okay, we should well, go well, do trash to treasure. And I'll keep talking as we do. And, and I'll, do, I'll do a more in-depth one on Fabric Chicks and Quilt Show Reno's Facebook page of the um, trash to treasures. But also just, you know, remember that we did kind of alter our schedule because we realized we were trying to do too much. But if you go to the you go to wildwindsaylive.com, our website, Ruth puts on there if we're alive or if we're off or if we're a different time. So always check that because then you don't have to, we get all these emails going, what's going on? Why aren't you live? What's going on? And it's because you're at the wrong time. So, so if you guys want to want to participate and help us out, Fabric Chick sponsors, plus for wounded soldiers and veterans. I love um, this display, by the way. You did a great you, job on it. Thank you. Um, we do a lot of quilts every year um, and it's always amazing. Christy's going to, um, Christy said she's going to really try to do a better job posting all the videos because we do get videos and photos all the time um, from presentations when they give them out. So here's the Trash to Treasures Challenge. If you girls aren't familiar with that, you're able to send Fabric Chicks $10 and we give you a bag of trash. Well, you know, one person's trash is another person's treasures. I just have to show you this. Linda ABC, she, look at, I'm famous again. This is like the fifth book I've been in. Beth and the rest of the group had remembered the meeting. They were at the beach gathering shells. It's like a whole Ruby Society story. That's so cute. Oh, I'm, I'm in there. there. Oh my gosh. Cindy's in I'm there. in there. Everyone's in there. All the girls, um, all the regulars that are oh, that have fun. us on Fabric Chicks are See, all in there. See, now I feel very special. I know. Because usually I'm just kind of best sidekick. I, I'm the afterthought. Well, you, you know, came in so. the book before I did. But I just, I yes. was going to say that, yes. that I'm on a page before Beth, right. so I feel very right. honored. I know. It's super cute. And I think it might get lost in the mail and just, I'm going to add it to my collection. That would be a shame if that were to happen. I might have but... to add it to my collection of Beth books. Beth Sorry, books. Sorry, we're amazing. So yeah. we send you a, a bag of trash. So like this gal got th this in her bag of trash for $10. And then um, she created this box, which is amazing. So this is the lid. It closes up like this. 
and super adorable. I know I don't want to wreck the display that I shouldn't be touching. So that's the lid. I mean, the display, uh, the, the what they made is incredible. Oh, the creativity. Yes. We were over here looking yesterday and it absolutely blows me away. Right. So they have, and I think you're in the book too. Um, the, so they have to use five items out of the stuff I send them and then they can do anything else with it. They can add anything to it. So what they come up with is really quite incredible. So we will be, um, it's a viewer's choice award. And then um, the winner, the grand prize gets a $200 gift certificate to Fabric Chicks. Wow. And then second place is, hi there. Um, second place is $100 and third place is $50. So we- Can and we, we do an honorable mention? We could. From Raylene's, Just Notions? Yeah, Raylene's gonna do an honorable notions, uh, honorable mention so for her yeah. next year or for this year? For this year. Okay. Well, she, uh, yeah, next year too, but Oh my gosh, year. you just love to give stuff away. I do. Oh my goodness. I do. When you have many blessings, you have to share. Okay, okay. Look at this one. This one is um, so, so, rip, rip, and then extra <laughs> all content. yeah. But look at her little steam. Cooking. See, mine would only have oh, one so and five rips. I know. That's really so cute. cute. People are just incredible in what they come up with. Yeah, this is awesome. Yes. Okay, so that's all I've got. Do you have anything Well, else? we've been on for an hour, okay. so Ron's probably over there going, she's never coming back. Oh, look, Christy looks like she might be bored. Wait, Hi, Christy. Christy. <laughs> all right, that's Christy Lee. You guys see her commenting all the time. She's busy at work. Okay, so guys, be sure you're checking Best Fabric Chicks page because she's going to be doing some other lives. Yeah. And you never know when we might pop in. Um, sometime on Monday, we'll do the uh, drawing for the scavenger hunt. I okay. just don't know when. We'll have to coordinate that together right. and maybe go live together on okay. Monday. Maybe we can do it. Are you doing I'm a live? I'm doing a live yeah. at four we'll I don't do it. have anything planned. You so. know what? Let's do it during okay. your live like we did after Boise. Okay. That'll be good. And, uh, and then remember, no live next week for Wild Wednesday, but then in Oklahoma, Adele and I will be live those three days. So. Perfect. Okay. So, right. so, so something. Yes. Like we want you to post on this page what, what you're you've doing. Yes. We keep telling you guys. So now we're starting to think yes. you don't do nothing. I don't think you guys even own sewing machines. I don't think so because you never post. So. Right. All right, right, guys. Bye okay. for now. Bye, bye bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. You're